Uh, you know, hello, hi, 漂亮美女 Ken, thank you. Right, maybe let me try this. Next, I would say is that, guys, why not?、Uh, <laughs> like, <laughs> 对，刚刚我就喝了，我就喝了茶在那个后面。Hey, what's up, guys? This is Mike Ronaldo. This is Black in China. Enjoy another exceptional video. You know, I I always drop value in this、uh, in this channel. And well, first of all, you know, I should say we have finally made it to a hundred thousand subs. And I kind of owe these to all of you guys, you know, because like I think it's all about、uh, this community. It's never about me, you know, because. Uh, I'm just an ordinary,、uh, ordinary guy, and、uh, so we finally made it. And I received the、uh, the award from YouTube, and man, it was like <laughs> it was like a dream come true because、uh, lots of you have、uh, watched my videos when I saw it uh, uh, posting videos、uh, on YouTube. And where I talked about my story,、uh, how I moved to China from Cameroon,、uh, starting from nothing. Like、uh, I didn't have a job. I didn't have. I couldn't even speak Chinese. I couldn't even speak English. Like everything actually sucked. But、uh, me getting this award and being part of this community,、uh, Black in China, I think it's、uh, it's just like <laughs> it's just like <laughs> a dream, you know. So here is me somewhere inside downtown. Of the city of Chengdu, here in Sichuan Province, I mention Chengdu a lot because I live here、uh, for some time, and I actually love everything about the culture here, the people, the lifestyle, and even much more. In a lot of、um, things, I would always put this city in first. Walking in towards the People's Park in downtown of the city of Chengdu, a lot of activities going on on this、uh, day. Wow! Make sure to like this video, guys. By the end of this video, I'm going to share a lot of my、uh, experiences. You know, like being a vlogger from the point when I started here in China. And <laughs> up to the point,、uh, learning Chinese, and I'm also going to like answer a couple of some、uh, frequently asked questions on my、uh, on my channel, like my videos, because I, I like kind of took most、uh, the some some of the most frequent questions that my viewers always ask me about life in China for a black man,、uh, for a foreigner, if you want to call it. So I'm going to be sharing all of that in this video. So stay tuned and like, share, and subscribe. So here is inside the People's Park of Chengdu. I think this is even、uh, one of the oldest park in the city.、Uh, this park was created right even before China ever became a republic. So. On、uh, days like this, on weathers like this, like、uh, people travel all around、uh, the province, the country, and you know they just <laughs> for different activities and、uh, taking pictures, enjoying some Chinese food, and going back to the culture, you know, dances, and let's enjoy that, guys. Hi, ah, this is a great picture. Looks nice. <laughs>
like on uh, a lot of times you guys tell me, Mike, uh, I want to find a Chinese girlfriend or I want to get married to a Chinese. Like uh, the best I would say is that, guys, why not uh, <laughs> like <laughs> travel over here and uh, might like you might meet your luck, you know. A lot of you always uh, send me a message, Mike, I want to uh, I want to date a Chinese. I want to find a Chinese uh, blah, blah, blah. So right here. I, sorry, no, <laughs> man. Marriage market here in this park. I think it's uh, the, uh, the biggest one inside this city. And actually it brings uh, locals from around the province from other other cities here in uh, Sichuan province you know like to <laughs> like participate in this uh, marriage market there is a lot of uh, recommendations going on uh, from the parents if you cannot uh, find a partner then you do not have uh, anything to worry about you just come on over here uh, just uh, write some introduction and <laughs> you get it going so people over here uh, even uh, men, women, men, like, <laughs> I think this is an uh, exceptional uh, opportunity, you know, like, because some people aren't very outgoing, so, like, meeting a partner or, like, someone they, they, they want to spend their life with, uh, maybe they need some kind of, like, hint, you know, so, uh, <laughs> let me show you this, these boys in pink, these are women in search of partners and uh, just uh, having a look like um, that is an introduction uh, a lady in search of a partner um, the year from the city Chengdu uh, the height and these are kind of like her requirements like uh, the kind of partner she wants to find so if you so if you meet these requirements and there is a phone number at the end uh, you can contact, maybe talk to her, uh, her parents, or you can talk to her directly. And <laughs> I think this is a, this isn't a bad idea, guys. Like, <laughs> unfortunately, I am not uh, in search of a partner anymore because. Uh, <laughs> but I think uh, for most of you who always ask me, Mike, uh, can you find me a like a Chinese girlfriend, like a partner? I think maybe you can. Uh, Come on over here and just uh, try your, your locks, guys. Like, we might never know. Okay, enough of all of that, guys. Like, uh, I don't want to be seen in here. And someone's going to say, some of my viewers are going to say, Man, Mike, uh, really? Like, what? Like, you have a partner and you are still uh, in a... Uh, a marriage market and finding another partner <laughs> a lot of my viewers misunderstand uh, me a lot of times uh, in my content my videos some complain my like <laughs> you always hang around ladies and I say man it's just a video you know like nothing's going on it's You know, the way it's done in China, usually most parents would help their kids, you know, to find a partner because like the people aren't very open. Like it's usually almost weird for a guy to like chat with a lady, like a stranger on the streets, like, hey, what's your name? I want to know you. Like usually it's not done like that in China, ex except if you are uh, in, uh, inside some uh, dating apps. So the most uh, means of marriages here in China would be parents or family members or friends or uh, colleagues like introducing uh, like introducing uh, a lady to a guy or a guy to a lady uh, so that is why uh, these kind of markets they are pretty popular here in China and uh, <laughs> for me it's <laughs> so now I want to go show you guys around another side of this park
you can see there is uh, it's so relaxing in here there is bars um, Chinese uh, Chinese tea it's so relaxing you can have uh, tea over here you can buy some souvenirs uh, Oh, thank you. Right. Maybe let me try this. Hmm, huh. Like everywhere in here is just so it's just so busy. Yeah. It's just so busy in here. Hi. Hi. Can you speak Chinese? Uh, do you like China tea? Uh, Chinese, you mean Chinese tea? Oh, Chinese tea. Uh, I think it's it's fine. I like it. I like it. Uh, I like it. Uh, uh, this is tea, right? Is it Chinese tea? But you have a coffee. Yes, I just drank tea in the back. I think it's fine. It's fine. 我就是来这里玩一下吧看一下就是你们这里我觉得很舒心对我觉得很有标准吗我一直在成都但是我一直没有来这里哦我们也是第一次来你们是从哪里过来他是深圳的我是成都哦深圳的深圳哦我听我听
Um, so I think I'm kind of new to this, but <laughs> you don't have to trust me if you don't, if you don't want to. Um, I think there is primarily two reasons for that. Um, the first reason is that uh, I guess most of the foreigners they meet um, in the States, uh, they can't speak Chinese. I think uh, maybe this is the first, uh, the first reason and uh, maybe the most reason why uh, there is this difference. Uh, I think the language is an issue and your personality, like the kind of person you are. See, I'm not going to say everyone likes me here, like, no one's going to, everyone's not going to like you, if you like it or not. Goodbye. 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 Enjoy your time. Bye. Like, not everyone's going to like you, but people react towards you depending on your, uh, depending on how, how they view you. So generally, I think it has to do with two main things. The language is a problem and also your personality. Maybe, you know, like uh, most times I know that uh, like us black people, the world per per uh, perceive us as, you know, like a threat to a lot of things. Uh, you know, maybe there is uh, history, uh, they watch news, they watch TV. And so uh, most times as a black person, as a black man, like people always have that first impression that you might be a threat, but depending on how you react to, uh, towards them, it's gonna change uh, the perspective. Uh, uh, should they uh, smile towards you? Would they like to uh, get closer to you? And even so much more. Now, back to some of the most questions I get a lot on the comment section. A lot of my viewers ask me, uh, Mike, <laughs> why do you have such a confusing accent? Like, <laughs> where are you from? Uh, so uh, I think if you've been watching my early videos, I talked a lot about um, when I, how I moved to China. Uh, I couldn't speak English, I couldn't speak Chinese. And although even now my English still sucks, but I think it's uh, much better than uh, what it used to be. So, you know, at that time I was just learning English here and there, you know, by myself. Um, I was just scrapping some uh, stuff online and just uh, trying to sound somehow. So. I think that explains the reason why <laughs> I sound uh, this way. Now, another question my viewers always ask me, Mike, uh, how did you come to learn Chinese? Did you just do it like uh, uh, outdoor interaction with Chinese? Like, what act how actually did you learn Chinese? Just outdoor. I say it a lot and most of my viewers uh, won't believe me when I say it, but I never read any Chinese books, stuff, uh, words, vocabularies. Uh, no sentences, no grammar, and I was just, I just spent a lot of time outdoors, and I, I listened to one thing being said a thousand times, and after that I just, uh, I just like try to memorize it and just uh, repeat. So I'm gonna say that learning a new language, be it learning Chinese, is not any magic. Like there is no code, like there's no particular code. Now, this is, this is another uh, question I think I should actually attend to. Mike, I'm planning to move to China and probably get a Chinese green card. And um, is it easy to get a Chinese green card? I'm going to say it's more difficult getting a Chinese green card. And, but I think it's also going to depend a lot on uh, your country, your nationality, um, for... Uh, if you're from a more developed country, it should be more easier, but it's also going to depend on how long you've lived in the country and uh, if you have some properties, like uh, if you've bought a house here and things like that. Next. Oh. I rate those skills. <laughs> wow, looks like some uh, kind of moon cakes. Hey, hey, you know. Hey, check the yard, some idea. So I guess uh, you have to order this uh, on your phone. So I got to try that. 
So you can see you scan this code and you just pay in your phone. <laughs> I should try that. So I had to order for that. <laughs> and man, the process is just so easy. Uh, you don't have to pay with cash. You just uh, order on your phone and uh, you do the payment and that's it. So fast, so easy. Uh, can you draw Nabi? Uh -huh. uh -huh. Thank you, thank you. Uh, so I just want to enjoy these moon cakes. <laughs> I call them mooncakes. Um, they look mostly like like that. So you get in here and uh, you just find a seat and right. Okay. Fortunately, I don't have so much time left, but you know, like I always do, uh, I'm just gonna try this. And you know, like uh, when you go to Rome, you do what the Romans do. And why not? Oh, so <laughs> I don't know what this is. Man, two spoons. I don't understand. It's always uh, weird for some of you when I tell you that after uh, living in China for uh, many years, there is still a lot of Chinese food that I've never eaten before. And <laughs> I think it looks like something that uh, they call this. Okay, fine. Uh, yeah, try that. Mm. This is just so tasty. I love it. It didn't cost that much. Um, I paid. Uh, 35, 35 RMB. Um, if you do the math, I think that is just a few dollars. So it's pretty, it's pretty fine. One thing I like about life here in China is uh, life is pretty affordable. Like you don't have to spend a lot on your daily basis, uh, especially if you're someone like me. Mm, on my day-to-day -day spendings, uh, I spend pretty less because I'm not extra vegan. <laughs> You can get to see this restaurant, they have thousands and thousands of visitors on a daily basis. And you can see everywhere is just so organized, like there is no trash, there is no mess anywhere. Um, I don't know uh, where you're watching from. Uh, drop down in the comment section, where are you watching from? So nice. I love it. And I guess I had enough. <laughs> Enjoy this. Nice. Super good. And uh, I guess I have to do this again. Bye bye. Bye bye. You mentioned how you quiet. So I'm going to leave now. Um, I love that. It's nice. Super sweet <laughs> almost the best yeah i guess you might have realized chinese just love it a lot when a foreigner speaks their language like <laughs> it's even very hard like for someone to hate you you know when you speak the language you get it all like you get it all <laughs> so that is gonna be it for today guys uh Make sure to like this video, make sure to subscribe, comment below if you have any questions. Uh, you know, hello, hi, Piao Niang Meinyu. You know, my videos are always very transparent, like literally I share everything, you know, life in China as a black man, um, everything. <laughs> I show you the beautiful, the beautiful Chinese girls and like, subscribe. I see you in my next video, guys. Stay tuned to Black in China.